Hello, Krix is here and welcome to this week's video. So today I have something super super exciting for you guys and it is Art Howl. So I decided to share what I bought in my time in Latvia, in Riga, and I've been to art supply stores and some design stores and I just, I, I really wanted to share. So there's also one book, so I guess it's Art Howl plus one book so okay grab yourself a drink and let's let's dive into art supplies so i have all them piled up in one side i'm gonna just grab and show and yeah so okay let's start with the <laughs> washi tape so i got myself another washi tape it's uh, empty i really like this brand and um I don't know if it's focused, but this is like like moss, dull, pale green color. And I don't know, I just, I saw this color and I felt like I need to have this color in my life. So I'm gonna show it, zoom in as well. And um, I'm gonna do also swatching. I'm not sure how I will do it in Latvia because I don't have good setup, but I will figure it out. Then I bought three Posca markers and I usually don't buy Posca anymore because I run out of the colors I want to buy. Um, but they recently released new colors and they're like deep muted colors, I would say. And I haven't seen them in Jackson's or Cold Pens and I saw them in Latvia's art supply store. So I have this um, Posca color called Ochre. I will definitely love this color. Then I have Cacao Brown um, and they have one brown which is I think called Maroon and it's like reddish brown so I hope this will be more like deep brown or something like that. And the last color I bought is Deep Grey and they have some greys. Um, they have Slate Grey which is really nice like this deep dark cold grey. So I think this will be more warmer, deep gray tone. <laughs> so I bought this one as well. And then I, I, I haven't tried these ones, uh, but I bought masking marker and I feel this will maybe work like, like masking fluid you usually put on watercolors. And I just thought this would be really great for details. And I also, I haven't, like used masking fluid in my life so this will be something super new and i just i thought maybe i could even use it with posca markers or like any acrylic marker i have so i will check this out with you together as well and then i have like Royal Talents Art Creation Sketchbook and they, I remember they had like these sketchbooks when I was working in uh, in that art supply store in Riga. They had only three colors, which was uh, black, white and uh, red. So now when I went there, they had so many colors and options and I just thought, well, I will, I will take this one and just use it in the future so this is another sketchbook because i have so many sketchbooks that i need more <laughs> uh, no i actually i don't need more sketchbooks but um, well what you gonna do speaking of sketchbooks i have another sketchbook i bought but i will use this not like as a sketchbook but like a bullet journal for my next year and this is really beautiful, so I'm gonna unpack it in just a second. My new planner, I would say. It's also great for sketching. It, the pages are Munken Pure. Um, and it's like Bristol paper by feeling. And the brand is called Purpurs. It's actually a Latvian brand. I will link the the brand's website down below. 
it's not sponsored by any means. I bought, bought it myself. I just, I really like what they do. They have also recycled series when they sell recycled sketchbooks and I don't know, it's just really nice business from my country. So I really wanted to treat myself and get one, um, like a journal type of thing. I already like tried to write with fountain pen. Um, I guess I will buy like a bulletproof or like feather, non-feathering ink because I want to write with a fountain pen, but it's a little bit like um, not bleeding through, but what is the name? Like when you write like one li line and it's like, pfft. I think it's splattering could be the word. So it's splattering a little bit. But it's, it's alright, so it's really beautiful. I, I will zoom in and show close-ups to it. Then I bought uh, just like some recycled papers. Um, because I didn't know what time I will be in the uh, UK. But I really wanted to make like some cards and I thought I could do lino cut cards on these recycled cardboard pieces and just fold them with like folding knife. Um, I have two colors, so one is like neutral color, like classic um, cardboardy color and other one is like um, blue-gray, I would say more blue, so these are just like papers. And also I bought last week, no, not last week, this week I published a video about my time in Latvia and I show you Lotus Paperly store and I actually bought handmade papers from them and um, I'm gonna show them to you. So these are like super small ones and I thought I thought like small cards with like small line ochre design would be really amazing. So I bought two colors and one is like this um I don't know, I, I guess in last few months I got really into like super muted, super super dull and super light greens. So this is like sage color or something like that. I don't know if camera is picking it up well. And the other one is like stormy grayish blue. So, and I really like how the edges are like, um, like you can feel that it's handmade and the edges are like, I really like those edges that they're not straight. They're like um, with, um, I don't know how, how you call them. Yeah, these are all the art supplies I got and also I have like this um, picture book which I was trying to find for a long time and finally I did it and this is in Latvian. I think this is also in English somewhere so the illustrator's name is Monika Vajtsevišķiene. She is from Lithuania, from neighbor country and when I was in Bologna Children's Book Fair she was uh, in illustrator exhibition and I just love her work. It's really beautiful. And um, also like, I didn't know what was the story about. So when I read it, it's also really beautiful, beautifully written. It's li really like um, poetic. And yeah, I just really like these illustrations. And uh, the name is um, Kasirupe, which means what is the river. And it's like book about different kind of rivers, like river of life, river of uh, moving, like river of everything. So, okay, I'm, go I'm not going to share everything, but um, I have like this postcard, exactly this spread. And um, yeah, it's just, I really like the style. Um, I guess it's like the... Um, it depends on personality. I just, I'm really into these. And also like her book, it's really pretty. I don't know if I will show uh, good enough, but it's like, um, um, 
uh, 3D relief. I don't know how to call them. It's um, when you touch it, it's a bit. Um, you can feel that it's not straight. So yeah, this is the book. I think I will try this journal and make like a title page because that's what I do with like sketchbooks which I don't want to completely start. I like to make like title pages or like illustrations for title. So I just taped the edges. I don't know if you can see. Um, yeah, you can see probably here. So I taped it around. And I'm gonna move the camera now and see how I like if it will still be alright. Um, because I want you to see the close up. So I don't know. We'll be right back. Um, maybe everything will change. Wait, maybe I can film with camera with like my phone. Um, because like actually last video I filmed almost completely with my phone, which is crazy because um, I thought I don't have like good camera. So this is the deep gray. And it's really dark. I like it. <laughs> so this is the first color. Next color I'm gonna check is um, cacao brown. Maybe you remember there was one video where I did uh, hot chocolate brown myself, but I think that was like much bar like lighter tone. The hot chocolate with milk. So I'm curious how this one will look comparing to hot chocolate one. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> because I don't have a lot of cameras around me, I need to do this like that. And then I'm gonna grab phone. Okay, so now I'm gonna film with phone. So this is a uh, brown or chocolate brown yeah it's uh it's still quite warm brown though in the cap it looks a little bit darker and not that warm i think and now we are going to try third color which is um ochre i'm like super excited to see this ochre color as well um, maybe not the best idea to put swatches on the title page, but oh well. Okay, let's see how the ochre will look. Yeah, this is really beautiful yellow ochre. It's, um, it's more yellowy than brownish. Some ochres are more browner than others, so cool. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do illustration up there and see what I can do. I think I will draw like a house. I think I don't have a lot of art supplies with me. I have uh, I think ten other um, acrylic based markers. And I will be right back actually, because I will draw without camera um, and then come back. <laughs> I just sketched the sketch with uh, like a church and uh, I'm gonna use these three marker colors and I'm gonna also use masking fluid marker. Use mar masking fluid to make like a star or some, some something like that. Now I, I think I will move the camera because I need to see different angle or something like that. So because I'm filming from the bed and we have only one table in the house and it's in the kitchen. So need to think of other creative ways how to show you what I'm doing. Okay, I hope this is okay setup. Um, oh, this is pumping really fast. I'm gonna put the outline of the church 
so it doesn't get affected when I'm coloring the sky and the borderline as well everything is dried up already it was super super quick So now I'm coloring on top of the masking marker. Um, I hope it's staying there and I will rub it out later on. If not, that will this will be really sad, so I hope it won't happen like that. Okay, so I decided to have like this scene with limited color palette. So in the beginning, I thought I will use the supplies I bought in Latvia and also use the supplies I bought with me to Latvia. <laughs> but I, while coloring the sky with this uh, deep gray, I realized I could make like a roof in this brown color and the yellow ochre could be the light from the windows. It will be limited color palette illustration. So now I'm gonna um, check if I can rub out the masking tape, no, masking fluid. This does work. Um, so if you ever wanted to make like uh, some illustration, with masking tape and acrylic markers you can use the masking uh, tape marker and it will work really great with markers the only thing is i need to remember where i put the dots so now i don't remember so i'm like rubbing a lot and my finger is a little gray from the color but uh, i don't mind wow well, it looks like a magic trick actually <laughs> It already looks amazing. It it could look amazing only with one color actually and masking tape, but I'm gonna add small details and now I'm gonna color this brown and roof and add some windows with this yellow ochre and I think that will be it. It will be super quick illustration for you. I actually decided because the windows I want to make, they will be quite small. I decided to make the masking tape fluid around so I don't mess up. So... I want to make like several windows and maybe I can make like a bigger window in the front of the church. Okay, <laughs> this looks funny right now, but it will change, I promise. Maybe like, maybe I can make like a window up here as well. Oops. Uh, I accidentally mixed masking fluid together with... Um, oh well, with the marker. <laughs> I decided to add some details with... Um, pencil so while the masking fluid is drying I'm adding like a fence or some sort it's actually really interesting to see how you can work only in with three or four colors so one pencil and three markers basically okay so the masking tape is uh, dried up so I'm gonna put the colors with yellow ochre um, and my phone camera will try to capture it so like now I can just color like that I guess that's the like satisfying part super wintery scene I guess it's because in Latvia there are lots of snow so I want to have something super wintery and it's also Christmas time so yeah I think I needed to wait a little bit 
I'm not gonna lie. I think now the background is a little bit awkward. I will color this with this pencil color, so it will be like a darker color, like a shade of the church. And the other side will be lighter. I think that will be what helps it. This is how it looks. It's super like simple and ah uh, uh, yeah, no, this is not how it looks. I need to take the tape out and show you how it looks without the tape. Well, the most important thing, I tried. <laughs> so if you ever are buying purpose paper, never tape it with paper tape. Use washi tape instead, please. <laughs> Otherwise there will be consequences. Why did I tape it with paper tape? It looks so awful now. I want to show this artwork from the distance now. This is the title page. Um, a little winter scene. <laughs> All the edges are ripped off. It doesn't look pretty. Um, don't use the tape. But yeah, look, this is how it looks. And I'm gonna zoom in also and shove it on the camera. But yeah, let's welcome the outro, Christian. Um, Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and tell me if you if you like acrylic markers. I will see you next week. I will be in the UK, finally. I have been in Latvia for a month, which is crazy. And I have been enjoying every day of it. So now I'm... I also have like some exciting news, which I will share later. Um, I know that on the 1st of January I will also do like a video about my plans for the next year and so on because I really like organizing and yeah I will share some news with you at that moment as well but other than that I will see you next week it will be Christmas day 25th of December so something Christmassy will come to you at that moment okay have a good day evening, morning, wherever you are, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye! 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 Bye!